I wanted to show you guys that I created a step uh, level of detail, step one. I created it first with all parts suppressed. So I made that active. Let me save this. And it had no parts in it. And then I started resuming parts or right clicking and unsuppressing parts um, so that I started to see the parts that I wanted. So I'm going to resuppress this, and I created step one. I just I right clicked and I said copy, and then I saved it. So it copied it, and you want to save a lot. Every time you do something, you want to here you want to save up here. So I I came down here and I renamed it. I saved it. I copied this. I saved it. Every I did everything before I activated step one. Make sure that you save everything because it'll ask you. You're going to lose everything. So when I uh, selected step one, I just selected the base, the side frame assembly, the um, roller bearings, and the crankshaft support, and the screws beneath all these. So now, I'm, once I have step one done, I'm going to go to the IPN, and I'm going to create a view with the WW engine. I'm going to hit options. Right here, I'm going to use level of detail representation step one. So if you had more steps here, then you could you could select whatever step that you wanted and say OK. So now that I have that in there, I'm going to start to tweak components. I'm going to tweak in this direction. I'm going to select the components that I'm going to move. So I can actually, I like to select out of my menu so that I can see everything. So I want to move, let's say these. And I can use shift and select all those. And I'm going to grab the Z direction and I'm going to pull them down. I allow, I'm going to allow the trail files to display. I'm going to clear that. And then I'm going to select another direction. And I'm going to select all the other parts except for the base. So I want these. And I don't know why these are showing up, but. I do want that side frame. I want the everything but the base from here on out. And now I'm going to select this here. I'm going to pull pull them up. Looks like I need that side frame camshaft. This that. Now I'm going to select this and I'm going to pull them up. I'm going to get those trail files. I really don't need them. All that many of them. And I'll say clear. I'm going to select as a direction this direction and I'm going to select this roller bearing and this roller bearing and then I'm going to pull them this way a little bit and then I'm going to select I'm going to clear that another direction the interior bearings or the opposing side bearings and I'm going to push them out the other direction I'm going to clear close and then I'm going to save this now I'm going to go to my drawing and let's say that I had sheet 2 here, sheet 1, I might have um, the entire assembly with the bomb. Now I put this on a D size sheet so yours is going to look different. But on sheet 2, um, we can go ahead and put in a base view. And right here I want to select the, I, the IPN that I want to use. So I'm going to use the WEW IPN. And inside there, you can say which explosion that you want. So you can have all your explosions and... and uh, you can have all your explosions in one IPN. So I'm going to say go ahead and finish that custom view. And I'll make this uh, 2 to 1. Set that down. And now I'm going to show you guys how to put the balloons on. So your balloons, your parts list is only going to be on sheet 1. I'm going to select all four of these. Or six of them. And I'll right click. I'll go to properties. And I'm going to change this to double dash line. That's the equivalent of a phantom line and I would do these as well okay so I would change those as well so now let's get into balloons I'm going to go to annotate I'm going to select balloon and I'm going to start to pull these out I can show that as four because it's it's really relatively simple to know that all four of those are the same. And then this one, 
there are more than just four screws shown in this assembly. So I'm going to have another balloon with a quantity of two somewhere else. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete this balloon and I'm going to show you, I'm going to save this, I'm going to show you guys how to change your balloon style. So, pardon me, I'm going to right click on this and edit balloon style. While that's pulling up, notice right up here that it's showing us what style is actually used, and this is what I couldn't find the other day. I'm going to select uh, this, and I'm going to create a right click, and I'm going to say a new style. And it's going to be copy of balloon ANC2, and say OK. Now, when I create that style, I'm going to come over here to properties and I'm going to remove the item number so that we we can actually change the quantity. For some reason it won't let us change anything but the item number. So we're going to go ahead and save that and done. So now when I go in here to put a balloon in, I'm going to select this and bring it down. And notice that it stays with its uh, selected type was just the ANC standard type. But now if I select this and I come up here, I can say I want to change that. And now it let me change it. Now I'm going to come up here and I'm going to right click and edit the balloon and I'm going to change the quantity, that's only quantity showing up now, to 4. Now if I select this balloon again, I change it back to the standard and now I have the correct quantity on my balloons. I know it's a little archaic but it's, uh, it's the best way that we have to do this right now. All right, I'm going to save that and you'll continue this way through every one of your steps. Now if you go back to um, your assembly and then you created a new step, let's say I'm going to copy this one and it's let's call this step 2 and I'm going to save this. Now I'm going to go to step 2 and I'm going to add a couple more parts. So let's say that I add um, the crankshaft unsuppress and let's say the flywheel assembly and now that shows up. So now I'm going to save this and I'm going to go to the IPN and I'm going to create a new exploded state. So I'm going to create view. It's going to be the WW engine. The options is going to be step 2. Say OK and OK. So now I have steps. Notice that we have multiple explosions in here. Now I'm going to tweak components and I'm going to select this one. And I'm going to pull it out this way sorry I'm going to select the direction as this and I'm going to select the crankshaft and I'm going to pull it out that way and then I'm going to um, select this one and pull it up clear direction top component and in this component right here I want to make sure that I get the entire thing so clear direction top component wants to be the entire flywheel gear assembly and now I'm going to select the Z axis and I'm going to pull it up. Clear and close. I save this. So now I have two different explosions in here. Now I'm going to go to the IDW and I'm going to right click and I'm going to say new sheet. And I'm not going to go through this all typing all the title in. I'm going to place a view, base, I'm going to select explosion 4 in the same IPN and I'm going to go back to the orientation say that's what I want and make that a scale of 2 to 1 as well. And then you'll continue. I'm going to show you how to create uh, different balloon styles that edit the number of quantity in each view instead of having an overall total of a split balloon in in one view on one sheet we want to split those quantities into each view on each sheet to show how many let's say screws of 
the total of 16 there might be four used on one sheet four used on another sheet until they total 16 and it's a lot more intuitive that way so I'm, I've already gone into manage styles editor and I'm going to select balloon and I'm going to select this one and I'm going to change the format to split and I'm going to right click and I'm going to make a new style and I'm just going to let it be copy a balloon now when copy a balloon I'm going to change the properties because there's item on top item number and quantity on the bottom I'm going to select the item number and remove it so that there's only one thing to change normally the override of a split balloon wants to change the item number and I want to change the quantity so I'm going to say done here and save edits now I'm going to go to annotate and I'm going to place a balloon on let's say one of these cams and continue and I'm going to put another one on this cam and continue and let's say that I have just these two let's delete this view out and I'm going to put this balloon on this one which is turned 90 degrees in the same view so in this I want to say that this is item number one but I want to say that there's a quantity of one here and a quantity of one here so now I'm going to select the balloon select the two balloons and I can say I want them to be that copy of balloon style and notice that it just pops up the quantity right on top now when I select this and I right click and I edit the balloon I can change that quantity override to one I'm going to select this one and right click and edit this balloon and change this one to one as well now notice that this is just quantity and that's the only thing that this split balloon has so once I've done that as archaic as this may seem I'm going to gather these two and change these back to balloon ANSI and now I have both of them item one quantity of one on each sheet and you can continue to do this through your sheets and notice that all the tw the total of all the balloons quantities is item number one one plus one equal two so your quantity should equal two in your quantity on your parts list and you should have a quantity total which I'm going to verify of two throughout your drawing I wanted to show you guys that I created a step uh, level of detail step one I created it first with all parts suppressed so I made that active let me save this and it had no parts in it and then I started resuming parts or right clicking and unsuppressing parts um, so that I started to see the parts that I wanted so I'm going to resuppress this and I created step one I just I right clicked and I said copy and then I saved it so it copied it and you want to save a lot every time you do something you want to here you want to save up here so I, I came down here and I renamed it I saved it I copied this I saved it every I did everything before I activated step one make sure that you save everything because it'll ask you you're gonna lose everything so when I uh, selected step one I just selected the base the side frame assembly the um, roller bearings and the crankshaft support and the screws beneath all these so now I'm, once I have step one done I'm going to go to the IPN and I'm going to create a view with the WW engine I'm going to hit options right here I'm going to use level of detail representation step one so if you had more steps here then you could you could select whatever step that you wanted and say okay so now that I have that in there I'm going to start to tweak components I'm going to tweak in this direction I'm going to select the components that I'm going to move so I can actually I like to select out of my menu so that I can see everything so I want to move let's say these and I can use shift and select all of those and I'm going to grab the Z direction and I'm going to pull them down I allow, I'm going to allow the trail files to display I'm going to clear that and then I'm going to select another direction and I'm going to select all the other parts except for the base so I want these 
and I don't know why these are showing up but I do want that side frame I want the everything but the base from here on out and now I'm going to select this here I'm going to pull, pull them up looks like I need that side frame cam that now I'm going to select this and I'm going to pull them up I'm going to get those trail files I really don't need them all that many of them and I'll say clear and I'm going to select as a direction this direction and I'm going to select this roller bearing and this roller bearing and then I'm going to pull them this way a little bit and then I'm going to select I'm going to clear that another direction the interior bearings or the opposing side bearings and I'm going to push them out the other direction I'm going to clear close and then I'm going to save this now I'm going to go to my drawing and let's say that I had sheet 2 here sheet 1 I might have um, the entire assembly with the bomb now I put this on a D size sheet so yours is going to look different but on sheet 2 um, we can go ahead and put in a base view and right here I want to select the, I, the IPN that I want to use so I'm going to use the WEW IPN and inside there you can say which explosion that you want so you can have all your explosions and, and uh, you can have all your explosions in one IPN so I'm going to say go ahead and finish that custom view and I'll make this uh, two to one set that down and now I'm going to show you guys how to put the balloons on so your balloons your parts list is only going to be on sheet one I'm going to select all four of these or six of them and I'll right click, I'll go to properties and I'm going to change this to double dash line that's the equivalent of a phantom line and I would do these as well okay so I would change those as well so now let's get into balloons, I'm going to go to annotate I'm going to select balloon and I'm going to start to pull these out I can show that as four because it's it's really relatively simple to know that all four of those are the same and then this one there are more than just four screws shown in this assembly so I'm gonna have another balloon with a quantity of two somewhere else now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna delete this balloon and I'm gonna show you I'm gonna save this I'm gonna show you guys how to change your balloon style so pardon me I'm going to right click on this and edit balloon style while that's pulling up notice right up here that it's showing us what style is actually used and this is what I couldn't find the other day I'm gonna select uh, this and I'm going to create a right click and I'm going to say a new style and it's going to be copy of balloon ANC2 and say OK. Now when I create that style I'm going to come over here to properties and I'm going to remove the item number so that we we can actually change the quantity. For some reason it won't let us change anything but the item number. So we're going to go ahead and save that and done. So now when I go in here to put a balloon in I'm going to select this and bring it down and notice that it stays with its uh, selected type which is just the ANC standard type. But now if I select this and I come up here I can say I want to change that and now it let me change it. Now I'm going to come up here and I'm going to right click and edit the balloon and I'm going to change the quantity that's only quantity showing up now to 4. Now if I select this balloon again I change it back to the standard and now I have the correct quantity on my balloons. I know it's a little archaic but it's, uh, it's the best way that we have to do this right now. All right, I'm going to save that and you'll continue this way through every one of your steps. Now if you go back to um, your assembly and then you created a new step, let's say I'm going to copy this one and it's let's call this step 2 and I'm going to save this. Now I'm going to go to step 2 and I'm going to add a couple more parts. So let's say that I add um, the crankshaft
unsuppress, and let's say the flywheel assembly. And now that shows up. So now I'm going to save this and I'm going to go to the IPN and I'm going to create a new exploded state. So I'm going to create view. It's going to be the WW engine. The options is going to be step two. Say OK and OK. So now I have steps. Notice that we have multiple explosions in here. Now I'm going to tweak components and I'm going to select this one. I'm going to pull it out this way. Sorry. I'm going to select the direction as this, and I'm going to select the crankshaft, and I'm going to pull it out that way. And then I'm going to um, select this one and pull it up. Clear, direction, top, component. And in this component right here, I want to make sure that I get the entire thing. So clear direction top component wants to be the entire flywheel gear assembly and now I'm going to select the Z axis and I'm going to pull it up clear and close I save this so now I have two different explosions in here now I'm going to go to the IDW and I'm going to right click and I'm going to say new sheet and I'm not going to go through this all typing all the title in. I'm going to place a view, base, I'm going to select explosion 4 in the same IPN and I'm going to go back to the orientation say that's what I want and make that a scale of 2 to 1 as well and then you'll continue.